very first thing that comes to mind makes me smile is when I was working in chronic pain management, I had a patient who was addicted to opioids and nobody had ever sat down with him to really talk through the, um, the biological factors of opioid addiction and by me just taking the time and not forcing him to taper his opioids right away by actually talking through it with him like this is what 20 years of opioids does and this is how we can get you at a lower dose and over a nine month period we literally stopped all pain meds he stopped using a cane he went to physical therapy and he was mobile on his own and um, that patient still finds me today, even though I'm not in clinical practice anymore, still finds me today to stop by my office, tell me how he's doing, check in on me, and I check in on him, and it's just one of the most rewarding things in my career. Uh, the first one that pops in my head is like um, helping a patient with diabetes who didn't even know they had diabetes. Uh, there, when they got diagnosed, a uh, doctor had basically told them almost like a death sentence, like, uh, now you got diabetes, uh, here's some insulin, figure it out. Um, and I got a hold of him on, like, I called him for a follow-up and was able to talk to him about all the regimen options that are available. I learned what he did for a living, how that diagnosis affected his job and his family, and I was able to get him into a, a pharmacist-run diabetes clinic. And within a few months, he was able to get his regimen under control, get off of insulin, get onto oral therapies, and uh, he gave me a huge thank you for the impact on his life, um, for taking the time to listen and help him impact him on a, on a family level, even beyond just a medical level. I think the very first time when I was a student, I had a uh, code blue and, you know, not knowing exactly what to do in those situations, but having the family present was really huge and made a huge impact on me to be able to be an advocate for the family to be in the room when those types of situations happen because otherwise they really don't know what we do and how hard we work, so. Um, just that interaction of educating the patient on why they're taking this medication, really helping them understand the, their chronic conditions has been the most rewarding. Um, some little uh, snippet of something they say, like, you know, oh, I don't even know why I'm taking this. Oh, the doctor told me to take it, so I take it. If you sit down with them and explain it to them, um, they really appreciate it, and usually their adherence will go up, their understanding goes up, and um, hopefully they take, uh, it gives them an empowered feeling with their care. My work inspires me because every every day is a, a, something a little bit different and it really makes me think strategically around how we can leave the, the most lasting impact on the communities of patients that we serve and what stakeholders play a part in, in uh, really making a difference. Um, Anytime I know that something I'm doing is making a difference in someone's life. Um, I like, uh, so often, uh, since I work for a health plan, there's always this idea insurance is always kind of trying to get you. Um, no, that's really not the case. Maybe in other industries, but not in, in, in the healthcare. It's really for me, it's like we are working to try to figure out how do we help keep people healthy? How do we keep them uh, able to do the things they want to do? So anytime I have that opportunity to kind of maybe be a, a patient voice, a patient advocate in a space that they don't have a, a voice or maybe don't have an understanding to be able to help represent themselves um, and, and their needs. So anytime I have that opportunity and know that I'm creating policies and programs that are going to help people, that's, that's really where, where my inspiration comes from. I like to work with people. And in my position, I work with other professionals, so pharmacists and pharmacy technicians, and I get to work with the public. So I still have some opportunities to, say, counsel patients and see the differences that my teams are making in their lives.